So what we're going to do today is we're going to stabilize a floating dock or a floating wharf. Um, two schools of thought. When you build a floating dock, there are a couple of different videos on my Caper Camper site with floating wharves or floating docks. Um, the first one is uh, this, this dock that I'm actually standing on here now. It's, it's a couple years old. And the brackets, see the brackets? I'm just going to zoom in right here that the poles go through. You watch, I'm just walking out, and that's going to slide up. It's sliding up and down, and it's meant to. That's okay. I popped one off there, I'll show you in a second. That's great if you're in an area where the tide is high and it's variable, where it's, there's, there's lots of rain and uh, water's coming up and going down. But if you're in a pretty, a pretty secluded spot in terms of, of weather for the uh, wharf and in terms of rough water, what you may want to do is stabilize your dock so that when you're walking on it, you don't get that little bounce. You can see the, see the wharf going back and forth. And sometimes that can be a little dangerous. So, what I did here, I popped, this is what's great about, about these wharfs, screwing them down yet. Pop a board off, and I took these brackets off right here. Right, or these, I'm sorry, these bolts. And I took the bracket off the side. And there are eight brackets on this wharf, <clears throat> on this dock, and what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to do these four at a time so this thing doesn't basically float away on me in the process. And I'll show you what I did here. First step, I pop the bracket off. So this one here is done. I'm just reattaching the, uh, the flooring. And what I did was I drilled a hole. And you can buy, if you check on my website, one of the, the my most recent dock that we built, these brackets, they make them like this now. But when I bought, when I bought this, bought these supplies a couple of years ago, they didn't have these types of brackets. So uh, the type of bracket that my my most recent dock has, it's very it's set up very similarly to this, where you've got a bolt, and for the most part you stabilize your your wharf, or your dock, and you set your height, and one one or two screws on your on your on your bolt there, and that will certainly keep your wharf from from rocking back and forth. So what I did, right? You can see this one here isn't done, right? This is what I'm talking about. And do this next. See that? See that's clean right around. Okay, and I'm gonna pop this off. Pop two holes, drill a hole here and drill a hole here, as you can see I did over on this one. And I'm gonna make that that more recent bracket. This bracket didn't exist two years ago when I bought this. So what I did here, drill a hole through this section of the bracket, a second hole. And you're going to weld. I took a bolt and I welded it on. And basically I just have the same principle now. A couple of screws on the bolt. And I'm going to have a perfectly, actually that is perfectly, the water levels it of course, right? It's just floating there, but I, I tighten it in. And you've got a perfectly level dock. And you're not going to have your shake. So I did four. Popped off four and I'm going to replace these four. You can see where one is right there, just in front of the boat there. I haven't put that one back on yet. I'm gonna do that right now. Um, and here they are here. Okay. Two holes. Drill the holes. Put the, put the nut on. And I'll pop the bolts in. Pop these back on and I'll see you shortly. Oh. Are you going? Yeah. Oh, okay. And here we have our final, finalized project. So you're She's filming? nice and level. You're filming? And there is no wobble. <laughs> and that looks really good. Not on YouTube. No, I think it looks okay. Here. Your feet are now on YouTube. Yay! <laughs>